Hi, I'm Brandy with Pets Enrichment in Tampa, Florida, and I'm here with Nikon. He is the Urban Dog Studio mascot and the executive director of Light Testing, and he's going to help me today. We are going to do a demonstration of how to introduce a head collar to a dog, so we want to make it a very positive experience for them, and he's going to be my little work buddy. Good job. Nikon, you ready? So I have some of his favorite treats here. I'm just using his food, but some dogs might want a little higher value treat, like an actual dog treat. Some of the soft ones are better for this. The smellier, the better. Go boy. So at first, I'm just going to get him used to seeing the head collar and pairing it with a treat, and then I take it away. So I just let him see the head collar, give him a treat, and then I take both away. Go boy. You're doing so good. So I just let him see it, treat, and then take it away. So the next step would be to let him actually put his nose through the hole for the head collar, give him a treat, and then pull the head collar away. So you're always pairing it with a treat. You ready? And if he backs away a little bit, that's okay. You never want to force it. You always want to go at the pace the dog can handle. You never want to just put it on his face and just hope he likes it. We always want to take our time, make sure it's fun for them, rewarding. And if the food, we're just using his food, but if, like I said, you might need to up the value of the treat a little bit if, if that's not motivating enough. Good job, good boy. You're so good. Come over here so they can see you. Yeah, there you go. There you go, good job. Good job. And then you wanna take little breaks. So you don't only wanna do this for about 30 seconds at a time and then take a break. Um, Cause you want the dog to be like, hey, give me some more of those treats. So then you can take another little Little round, a little, another little 30 second round of just putting it on and taking it off. You're so good. Back up. Good job. Okay, come get it. Come get it. Good job. Good boy. I never call a dog to me to put the head collar on. I never say, come on, come on, come on. Because you only want to associate come on with things they really, really like. So I don't call them to me for anything they're not quite sure about yet. So I just use, use treats for this. Good job. Okay. Good boy. Good job. He's doing so good. So then you get to the point where when you're giving him the treats, you kind of wrap the strap around the back, but you don't have to hook it right away. And you keep giving him treats, and then you take it off. Good job, Nikon. You're so good. Good boy. And you can do that again. He's ready. He's ready. Okay. Good job. Good boy. And then you get to the point where you give them a little handful of treats and then you hook it. Hold on. There you go. Good job. And you give them more treats. Good job. Look at that. And the tail's wagging. He's a happy guy. Good job. If they're showing any type of stress or anything, you just back up a few steps. It's, all, it's never a bad thing to just back up to where you started and then start slowly moving forward again. But he's clearly, his body language says he's ready to go. So that's a good thing. But always watch their body language. Any type of fear or stress, you want to just back up and start back where you were. There you go. Good boy. So I'm going to put a couple treats on the floor as I hook up the head collar. All right, wait. Okay, get down. Get down. Okay, ready? Yeah, you good boy. Okay, you can get them. Okay, get those. So then you make a game out of having them find stuff. You ready? Good boy, Nikon. Here, go get it. Good job. So he starts to wear it longer and longer and longer each time. Good job. Good job. Okay, wait, I'll take it. Okay, good boy. That's it. And then you just go for short spurts. You don't want to only put this on only when you're going to be walking him. You want to let him wear it around the house once he's used to it. Let him play with his favorite toys while wearing it. This is just a little safety um, in case he gets it off when you're walking him. Just hook this to his collar so it's not dangling. Um, but let him wear it, let him have fun with it, and then take it off. So keep it really short and sweet, um, just short spurts at a time until he's really used to it. And then you can get to the point where you can hook the leash to it, which you would hook it on this ring right underneath his chin. Um, but like I said, sometimes just walk with him and hook the leash up to wherever you were hooking it before, his harness or his collar, until he gets really used to it. Good job. Good job. All right, we'll put it on one more time. Ready? 
Okay. Good boy. All right, wait. Good boy. Here you go. Good job. Thanks, Nikon. You're a good boy. Good job. Okay. Okay. So the Halty brand has a little extra safety strap that hangs down that you can hook to the dog's collar just in case they happen to get out of the halty when you're when they're wearing it and you have them on a walk so you put it on and you hook it up good job nikon just wait oh there we go and then you just hook this to the collar loop good job nikon good job give me some more treats for being so patient good job and then you would hook the leash to the little ring that hangs down right underneath their chin wait good boy and now you have more control. Now when they try to pull, you're able to steer them a little bit better just by where it is hooked right underneath the chin. And you also want to make sure some of the head colors have the option of making the part underneath here smaller. They have a little plastic clip that you can slide up and down. So you never want to get it so tight against the dog's chin that they can't open their mouth and pant. It's very important that it sets back far from the front of their mouth and they can always open their mouth completely and pant. That's very, very important when you are fitting the dog for the head collar. All right, good boy. Hold on, just wait. Okay, thanks Nikon. So when you're going to buy a head collar for your dog and you're trying to figure out which size to get, you wanna get one of these tape measures if you don't have one. And on the back of the package and on the photos that you scroll through online, if you're buying online, they'll have a little sample of where to measure and what size to get for your dog. So for Nikon, we're going to measure right behind his ears, around his neck. He is a size 20, 20 inches. So that'll probably be like a three or four, depending on which side, which type of um, head collar you're getting. But they'll tell you on the package. Good job.